Hello there and welcome back to another installment of SCP Readings with your reader here, Gmo Dong. Today we're looking at SCP-1986. There's a link down in the description for you to follow along as I read out loud. SCP-1986 is a cylindrical tunnel two meters wide lined with volumes of books. Although the full extent of the tunnel is unknown, Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar if SAR, has established a minimum depth of 274,700 kilometers or nearly one light second. Expeditions have confirmed a depth of at least 4,441 kilometers. The conjecture has been advanced that the tunnel may be infinite. The volumes lining the tunnel often resemble known works, though with substantial alterations as to style, character, plot, and subject matter. Authors are occasionally authentic ones, though often they are wholly unknown. The works range from being somewhat unusual to completely nonsensical, though nominally at least intelligible. All languages currently extant as well as extinct ones are represented. In no case has any volume borne any publication information. Dating techniques have established that the volumes originate from the era they would otherwise appear to based on semantic and linguistic considerations. No discernible pattern has been found to the arrangement of the volumes. The walls of the tunnel are made of ordinary limestone. Attempts at breaching them have shown that the tunnel is non-Euclidean, i.e. to excavate through the floor is to emerge from the ceiling. Topologically, it can be likened to a three torus. Attempts at reaching the tunnel at an angle have proven futile as the tunnel is absent unless approached from its entrance. Discovery Log SCP-1986 was discovered in 1989 by a librarian in an unused basement of La Biblioteca Nacional de la República Argentina, located in Buenos Aires. Foundation personnel administered Class B amnesics to those who have been made aware of its existence and cordoned off the basement under the guise of performing emergency structural repairs. Now from this point on, a multitude of recovered works are listed, and that of which I will, uh, I'll spare you from any possible mispronunciations if I were to read them out. So I suggest you go to the wiki and check out all these recovered works that are listed. They are absolutely fascinating and really I would love to get my hands on some of them. Because for me, I am heavily invested in libraries and books. I love reading. I love the feeling of gaining new knowledge whenever you read books and these books seem to not exist anywhere else and that's just amazing to me. It's almost like the Library of Alexandria when it was burned down. It's just... It, hurt, it hurts me. It hurts to talk about the Library of Alexandria. If you don't know about the Library of Alexandria, you should go to the wiki, read up on it. Possibly the biggest loss of public knowledge ever and it just hurts me in my reader and writer parts. Other than in London, this would be a place that I would love to go to and explore. Anyway, that has been SCP-1986. Thank you for joining me on this reading. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.